Legend of Total War here, and today I'm playing a new campaign series for Dawn of War Dark Crusade. Uh, Dawn of War Dark Crusade is probably my favourite of the, the Dawn of War franchise, so I just thought, fuck it, it's been such a long time since I've played it, let's just do a, a let's play. And last time I did this on the hardest difficulty, but I'm, I really just feel like playing on easier difficulty. I'm going to play on normal difficulty this time just because hard difficulty, like I can handle it, but it's such a grind, whereas... I just want to go in and chill, and I'm going to play as a faction that I really don't understand very well, at least to begin with. And so I basically don't want to get stomped right at the start, because I just don't know how to play them yet. The planet Cronus. Beset on all sides by the tides of war, this once quiet colony became a savage battlefield. Seven armies clashed on this one world, each refusing to back down. Each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus's central desert came the Necrons, ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. But another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the warp, the demonic forces of Chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man came the Imperial Guard, there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar, Ancient enemies of the Necrons emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium's soldiers. Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions and the total defeat of all others. Alright, so I'm starting to play as the Necrons. I've never played as them before, and it just felt like playing as the uh, the Necrons. So let's just, um... Let's just get into it. The Necrons had lain buried in the sands of Cronus for eons having retreated there at the end of a great war only hinted at in the histories of ancient races like the Eldar. Long before man even stood upright, the Necrons and the Dark Gods had retreated to their tomb worlds. But their slumber was not eternal. Eventually their genocidal deities awoke them again driving them to purge the life that had spread across the galaxy during their sleep. On Cronus, this awakening came when an archaeological team opened a mysterious crypt on the arid Thor Abyss Plateau. Most of the team died, but expedition leader Thomas Maccabee somehow became one of the mysterious Necron pariahs. Seemingly retaining a hint of his personality, he occasionally spoke for the Silent Army as it advanced. The Necron Lord of Cronus, the most ancient and powerful of the deathless creatures on the planet, promptly launched a campaign of extermination. His loathsome god, the Nightbringer, hungered for the deaths of all those on Cronus. Alright, so, what do we get from, what's the Welcome bonus of this one? No, 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 I don't, I don't want help, go away. Alright, so what do we get, there's some sort of bonus we get for it, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so where do we want to attack first? It's basically a state of total war, everyone fights everyone. Who should we go and kill first? I mean, we should probably pick, because I, I basically need a refresh on how to play the game even, because it's been such a long time since I've played it. So I should probably pick the easiest one to go and attack, right here. No one's going to attack here, there's no armies close. So it belongs to Chaos. Alright, let's do that. 
this is a good opportunity for me to sort of get a hang of, of the game again because I've just, I've just forgotten how to play it. Alright, so let's see. Where's my Necron Lord? Send him out to go and go and just go kill stuff because if he dies, I can just destroy him again. What's this? Time bonus. Alright. Alright, so let's build. Oh god, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Let's get Necron Warriors. do not cost anything. Plasma generator. I don't think that's what I really need to build, but like I said, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. As we continue on in the campaign, I'll obviously pick it up. Because I've never played as a Necrons before. unit cannot capture points. Well, oh, they do. So what do I do with these guys then? I can just send them into attack, I suppose. I mean, it didn't cost anything. Okay, so we've got a plasma generator increasing my energy output. Let's see. And a summoning core. So I could increase their squad size, but that costs energy. And since it actually doesn't cost anything to get them straight from scratch, well, let's do that then. So yeah, I'm just assuming they're up here. Could be wrong. Right, so... I think we build an obelisk on top of that. Yep. What does that do? Because we don't get requisition, it's all just energy. Okay, so they're not here. Let's try them this way. Not this way. Just need to find where they are. Right, so we can upgrade this to awaken modulus. Not enough power. Okay, so not enough power means we're gonna get more plasma generators. research stuff. I'll worry about too much of that right now. What I really need to get sorted is my infrastructure. Gotta get these plasma generators down. Okay, we're under attack already. Okay. You need to get back here. They might do a little bit of damage to me, but I'm not overly concerned. No, we're, f we're fine. They can handle it. Get over here. So they must be over here then. You, you guys just whatever. Fortify this obelisks. Alright, let's do that. So we now have a time bonus of 20%. Accelerates all Necron construction training research times. Increase your time bonus by building scarabs. By using build scarabs to capture strategic points and relics. Okay, all right, cool. So 
So yeah, just keep building these for the time being. I'm pretty sure I can only build one more. Or maybe I just keep building them. Hang on, I don't think I built another one. So, um, put that over here. Let's upgrade this. Oh, of course, I don't have the energy. What's going on? Need more Netcon Warriors over here. Squad limit reached. Well, it doesn't matter. Actually, stay here and defend the base. The Necron Lord should be able to handle himself. Okay, so the base isn't actually here. It must be over this way, after all. They must have just captured that point. Okay, you. Over here. Captured a critical location. Yeah, we're okay. Okay, now we got some energy. Let's get that going. Can't undo that. Sort of just keep patrolling the area. Look for the stuff, keep damaging them wherever possible. Alright, so this one here. Oh, so we, we only get three more artifacts to re research in the. Okay. So I'm gonna choose carefully, I suppose. Was that instant? I'll wait for, for the upgrades. Okay, so what can we now construct? We can now construct a thermoplasma, but we need to put that on a slag spot or whatever it's called. There's one up here. Upgrade this, this will uh, provide a global bonus to energy production rates. Good. That's all we really need. Once we've got our resources under control, we can start getting our best units. I don't really care if they die, they're free anyway. Definitely build up this base's defenses as much as possible. Alright, that also needs to be repaired. All in due time. Keep making more of these. I thought I was only able to make six, but it seems like I can make a lot more than that. I'm gonna revive those things. So flayed ones, a wraith. Let's get some immortals. So my guys over there die. How's he holding up? So that generates 30, that's good. Alright, now what about some defenses out here? 
ghost turret. Fucking tree in the way. Okay, yeah, put that there. Because we also got to consider that if this base ever, once we capture this this region, if it ever comes under attack, we want to make sure our defenses are already built up. That way, we just basically go stop whoever invades. I get one more resurrection orb. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so we now have a bonus of 60%, and I've got tons coming in. So let's get a greater summoning core now. Let's build that here. Probably use another one. And they're, they're free, so what does it matter? So these get Heavy Gorse Cannon. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Heavy Gorse Cannon more effective against penetrating vehicle armor. Okay. Well, anything that's going to come up here is probably going to be a vehicle. So that sounds like a good idea. I think these are taking longer and longer to build. It's taking them quite some time. Just standing around. Keep them in the fight. Oh, they're up they're up here with the forward base, I think. Energy core requires engaged monolith. Seems like I've built everything. Let's build another monolith just because why not? Let's upgrade this one. So we're gonna destroy it, which is a vehicle type unit. Alright, let's do that. Where the scarabs did I just oh, there they are. Oh, he's dead. Not a big deal. We'll just revive him. Tomb Spider. Those are these things over here. So the enemy is starting to build up pretty significantly. But we've got our infrastructure sorted now, so now we can just start pushing forward. I suppose it gave us access to new units. So yeah, start building ghost turrets all along here. Let's see how the ghost turrets perform against these guys. Obviously, if these guys here die, it wasn't matter. They did pretty well. So their attack there was totally futile. Right, we've got access to other things here. Veil of Darkness. Or Nightmare Shroud. It was Lightning Field. Who's this here? Chaos Lord. Okay, he's on his way back. Okay, so yep, this is a Tomb Spider. Oops, let me get over here. What if I should upgrade this one? Yeah, just do it anyway. Got the resources. And okay, now we just want to make even more resources, because why not? Make 
make this heavily fortified. He should be just about... Where is he? Oh, he was revived exactly where he died. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Okay, cool. That, that works for me. Just, yeah, just have him keep killing. Get more energy. I think each time you build one, they cost more to build, but that's fine. Energy-wise, we're good. All right, now heavy destroyers. Let's get some shit going. Let's get a wraith. So, what do we need for the awakened monolith? A thousand. Well, we've got that. Better off, don't even bother fighting them. Let's try this. I guess I haven't, I haven't played this with this guy, so I don't know what to do. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, fucked up the building too. Because that's actually really strong. Alright, there. I may build this in the wrong spot, so I'm going to delete it. Alright, I'm going to take these guys, and we're going to move... In which direction? Over here. So this is a wraith, what does it do? Phase shift. That's very powerful. So the Lord Destroyer requires energy core. from. Energy core here. Component required to bring the last of the monolith systems back online. Alright, okay, so... He's not doing anything. You guys... Well, actually, you guys need to... Yeah, see where they were standing before, they were blocking the entrance of it. So that's what I mean. Do I have any build scouts not doing anything? No, they're not. Okay, they just finished that. Good. Now, let's build this energy core. It didn't seem to do a whole lot of damage to this building. It's okay. These guys over here, yep, let's kill whatever. Energy core. This gives us Essence of Nightbringer. Allows the Necromord to transfer into the Essence of Nightbringer. This powerful manif manifestation of the terrible Katen deity can lay waste to your enemies. Alright. I've mean, I got the energy for it, so we'll see how it goes. This is the perfect time to experiment with this kind of stuff. Before the enemy have uh, gotten too strong, just relearning how to play, play the fucking game. Spawn squad of attack scarabs. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, they go around collecting bodies. Interesting. Okay, what else? So, Lord Destroyer. Let's vehicle limit reached. How do I get more of vehicle limit reached? Um,
How do I get him to pick up bodies? I can't believe he's still alive. He's actually regenerating health. Even though he's getting shot. Okay, so there's clearly nothing here. Maybe building a forward base over there wouldn't be such a bad idea. Okay, fine. Something that's not doing anything. I'll go and build a monolith. Population full. Well, that just tells me we gotta go sacrifice some of our troops. Because energy wise, we're good. Okay, some turrets over here will help defend the base while. Well, we don't have any troops here. I'm not fast if that thing gets killed. Uh, what, what do I select you for? Oh, that's right, you're on the way down this way. One thing I'm noticing though is that I don't seem to have a whole lot of... Um, Requires captured relic. Oh, I see. So the captured relic is. Is that it? No, critical location. There's a captured relic. Um, okay. There's a relic, I should say, not a captured relic. Grab these guys. Head down here. Go capture that. Seems to me like we've pretty much wrecked these guys. That was fucking easy. So we got a war gear and crypt warrior squad. Cool. Alright, so what should we get? So he was very powerful. What can we do to make him more powerful? So this here, skinning blades, uh, increased melee damage and morale loss. Upgrades range attack. Increases health. Reduces damage from melee, greatly increase health. Increase health regeneration, death grip, increase damage and health, death shroud. Increase speed, reduce damage from ranged attacks. I think we'll go with that. Suppose there's nothing else I can do it. Let's look at an attack again. No. Alright, then let's move on. So these guys were able to move twice by looking for it, because some of these regions, let me just see here. I think I prefer it like this. They give like special abilities, right? Fury, there it is. Uh, to launch two attacks per turn. Yeah, that's that's crucial. Let's grab that. Although its strength rating is seven, so we sort of need to be a little bit faster than what we were in the previous one. 
but at least um, he's slightly stronger. Yeah, let's let's get in some honor guard. It was during the Horus Heresy that the influence of chaos first drove Space Marine against Space Marine. Cronus witnessed some of this terrible fighting, and the heretics of those ancient times left behind them terrible artifacts. In the desolate Ares Badlands stood one such talisman, an ancient icon of the blood god Khorne. Okay, we don't really need to do this. It's just a bit long, that's all. Okay, where are we? Slaughter the Imperial Guard? I intend to. So put these guys in a control group and just go attack whatever. Okay, now, I need you to... Capture this, I guess. Actually, no, 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 no. Don't worry about that so much first. Gotta get energy under control. Use these. So yeah, I'm gonna try and find where they are. Who, who knows where they could be. What's this? Enemy units destroyed, so I just need to destroy... Hang on, hang on. Objectives. Hmm. So I got half an hour. That's, that should be plenty of time, although... I spent half an hour in the previous battle. Good. Yep. Yeah, sure. You guys, I don't know, just yeah, go go looking for shit for shit. Okay, that's one of those things down. Keep getting them. We need loads. Oh, actually, maybe building yeah, a summoning core will help. Because our influence in this area to build stuff is just not too high. Nice. Maybe maybe you guys should come over here and help him out. Definitely want that speed bonus. Who's this? Command squad. Just, just keep killing them. Doesn't even matter if he ends up dead, which is what it will be. Actually, kind of doesn't matter. Get him out of there. Stay back. This is, I don't think he was doing enough damage. So just move back. Heal, heal. Slowly. Get some more guys over there. So they're putting up quite a bit of resistance here. Definitely going to want a lot of these guys. I really need you to like, shoot them. Reinforcements on the way. Might help if they had a few extra troops in them. Now we've got loads of energy, but I still need... Oh, shit. Still need more. Take them out. Hang on, you better get back. If you die, I lose the Omni Guard. Oh, fuck, my Necron Lord died. That's okay, he's pretty cheap to restore. Relatively cheap. Just 
tank back. Just keep sending these guys. Here. Okay, we need more energy. Sort of the main thing holding us back is just not enough resources. Necron Lord should be coming back soon. Maybe I bit off a little bit more than I could show in this. Okay, need more energy. Get that going. Once we get loads of energy going, we'll be absolutely fine for, for um, just, just spamming units. That's all we really need to do. Just keep using the free units for the time being. Oh, fuck me, there's got a lot of shit here. Okay, Necron Lord's back, that's good. I think we need a Forbidden Heart right? You know, improving the time bonus would be good. So there's, there's another one of these critical locations over here. As soon as one of these guys are done, you're done. Go and, go and capture this. I need to speed things up. In the meantime, just keep producing more of these guys. Just use them as meat shields. Okay, and also, uh, still going on. So, fewer of my units have been killed than theirs, so that's good. Because my guys are tanky as hell. I'd like to upgrade this, but um, I don't know. I feel like I still need more units. Maybe instead, just build another monolith, so that I can just get more units in faster. Because our energy amount now is, is, is looking pretty good. Okay, so how about we build a gorse cannon over here? Because it looks like we're going to need some defenses. Okay, and over here. It's Alright, go with that now. Okay, the 60% is done. Good. Okay, now build another one of these here. You always use more resources. I don't know if I should do this, but... As far as time's concerned and the kill's coming in, we're certainly ahead of schedule, I think. not even close. Oh wait, the wrong thing. This over here. Yep, give me more of these. Send them out of this way. And I need more energy. Good, that's finished. We can start getting better units now. I have to die again. 
But as soon as this head he now comes through, we can get him that electric thing, that lightning ability, that was really useful. Uh oh. Starting to run low on troops. Okay, greater summoning corps, we get better units. Bring that in over here. him. Oh, look, even if he dies, it doesn't matter, I'll just revive him. Okay, he's gone. We need him back sooner rather than later, so just get him going. I would have liked to have finished this first. Where's the... Here's this, and... This, and... Yeah, we do. Okay, we need... Oh, it's still building that. Come over here and build another Gorse Cannon. I don't think that would up uh, the upgrade would help right now. I think this this unit this here is gonna get killed. You must kill more of them. Okay, now once this fills up, that should be really good at getting rid of just tons of them. And we need more of these. Actually no no no. Get get better units now. How about how about a destroyer? That could be helpful. You just keep getting the basic ones in. Let's upgrade them. Need more resources. Okay, so that'll help. Need 300. That won't take long to get. Spider might help as well. Okay, let's start building another Gorse Cannon because they are a big. Okay, great something cool done. Now we need more energy. Oh, hang on. Um, let's see if this is over here can be captured because if I can increase my my speed. That'd be quite helpful, I think. Yes. Just a few souls more. Oh, that's right. I needed the energy to to grab this. Just two more kills and then I've done that. The power of the blood god shall be yours. So what happened there? <laughs> they all just died. Oh, we won. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, that was, that was pretty easy then. Cool, and now we can make two attacks per turn. We didn't gain any, any other additional bonuses. Alright, what should we do after that? Maybe hit this. Definitely don't want to hit their, their main area. Once we attack this, they'll probably come after us. Either here or there. Let's get another one. We just took on a region that had a strength of seven, so we should be able to take on one that has three. Alright, so where's my Necron Lord? Go and find them.
lots of generators early on will help a great deal. need to of course um, capture points oh my it's not getting on them so three three loads of builder scarabs should be what's that being are right, you what's this over here a relic let's go capture that Get in here. Necron Lord has certainly done enough damage to warrant his, his revival costs. You go over there and give him some support. You gotta keep building more energy. Okay, population full, then go with this thing. stop these rocket launchers, so let's teleport over to them. Okay, um, more, more energy. Serious damage to them now. Just gonna keep persistent. Need more energy. Actually, well, we need 300 for that, so let's just build some more plasma generators for the time being. Is there a slag deposit anywhere? No, I don't see any. I think we've, for the most part, got this under control for the time being, so because this region may come under attack over the next few turns, it's important that we build up this, this area as much as possible. Essentially, arbitrarily, not arbitrarily, but um, keeping the mission going longer than we actually need to, just to build up our defenses, so that when they make their attack, we basically can just stomp them straight away.
doesn't matter if you die, just keep... Find, don't, don't destroy their base, but go and find it and like demolish their non-essential buildings. Basically just raid them. Busy. Let's see, where should we go? I suppose it doesn't really matter, just essentially capture everything along here. They weren't here. I mean, they hold that point, but I need a scar to deal with that. If this area here gets destroyed, it doesn't really bother me too much. So I won't bother building defenses here just yet. <laughs> Don't know if that's really that useful. I don't know if that and Yeah, that's useful. I'll just put it back. I don't trust your own pace. Doesn't really bother me too much. Okay, got a greater summoning core. Good. What do you want to build? Probably another monolith. Oh, I need more energy. Another monolith would be good. It's good to have two, I think. But maybe we just need more, um... More plasma generators. Just not generating quite enough energy yet. So you need to get to that point where money is just not an issue. Attack wherever, it doesn't matter. If you just whatever, keep hiring the free units, because all we're doing is raiding right now. We're not not really wanting to hit them particularly hard. per minute. Right. See, their units cost money, mine do. Well, not all of my units do, I mean. Okay, so I need to build another monolith. Build the scars might help. That did, but that's okay. Seems a bit cheap 
175 to revive him. And I'm not complaining. Alright, what do you want? Another monolith, yeah. So, we can't build any more of these. We've, we've sort of built the maximum amount. However, I think if we build another monolith, it allows us to build more of these structures. Okay, maybe a gorse turret. No, actually, go and... Uh, go and... Uh, Capture another point. Doesn't take him very long to revive either. So I don't know if that actually does any damage. It doesn't matter. Okay, good. So now we're at 80%. That's great. Can capture this. Okay, now we're starting to get loads of, uh, of energy coming in, so we can afford to bol bolster the size of the, uh, the divisions, which actually costs us energy. If you destroy this, this is their barracks. If you can destroy this, they'll, they won't be able to attack, at a, or counter attack at a, at a quick rate. He's about to die again, but it's okay, we'll just revive him. Okay, that's done, good. A few gorse cannons over here might help. And now we can build more plasma generators. We can keep them coming. I want to loads of energy, so I just spam units and just go destroy them. Cancel that. Revive him first. A lot of units starting to come in now. If we destroy that, we win, so we don't want to destroy it just yet. Not yet. Sufficient defenses to repel a light attack. Right, let's take control of this critical location, although I don't think it really does anything. Can we get this to like 120% or is 100% the highest it goes? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. this not yet. Get over here. Just kill more shit over this way. Also, the more of them we kill, we can, start, we can start getting more gear as well, so racking up those kills is good. Extending the match out longer than it needs to can help us down the track. Sometimes rushing can actually be a bad thing. Okay, 
didn't quite pay attention to my orders there, but that's okay. So like I said, if the battle's over, we don't get any more chance to build up our defenses here. That's okay. Over here. Uh, yeah, I guess another Builder Scarab wouldn't hurt. It's the last one I could. Oh, I need five. Maybe should, they build really quickly. I should just get heaps of them right at the start anyway. So, energy core. Probably don't need it, but it's good anyway. Yeah, it doesn't go up any higher than 100%, so capturing more points is really just stopping the enemy from being able to capture them next time. Okay, so these guys here are done. So this needs an energy core, alright. Let's build another monolith, why not? I mean, they cost a lot, but fuck it, I got heaps of, heaps of energy here. Uh, maybe let's just finish this off now. Because it looks like we've pretty much got this all under control. Limit 3 for Necromonoliths. Cool. We don't, don't need that. Now, upgrading this... I'm just wondering if I if I do this, will I be able to make use of it next time? Let me just leave it. Okay, summoning cores are good for expanding our uh, our zone of control. All right, this is done. Let's let's finish this. Definitely take longer and longer to build for each one. Okay, cool. So we didn't get any more gear, but we get Crypt Immortal Squad. That'll help for our, our initial maneuvers. So over here, if we can reinforce it with some garrison, that might help us out. Um, I don't think we need bonus builder scarabs because they're pretty quick to build. What about a tomb spider? I guess you know, I don't have enough requisition to get one of those. And then end the turn. The glory of the yeah, figured they'd attack this. Um, so their strength is 10, but we built up our defenses reasonably well here, so we should be able to build up our, um, our army very quickly to repel them. So we get to keep everything that I built. That's what I really love about this game. Okay, so we could just go straight into building it up further. So some of these are already upgraded to tier two. And what about techno we're going to redo the technologies? But that's okay. We already got plus one hundred seventy. But then again, they're going to come up with uh, some stuff really quickly as well. Resurrection orb that actually could be more useful. And 
I have more monoliths? Yeah. Okay, so we got to we got to start getting the cheap shit just to begin with. Can you hear it? Let's go find them and attack. Get a Lord Destroyer. I two of them actually. Okay. Cancel one of them just for the time being because I want to upgrade this. So if we had built up more of these, more of these, in the previous time we were here, we'd already have enough resources to just do whatever we want. What happens to the energy core? Why can't we get this yet? Oh, because I need, need more energy. I think I might convert this one, because that's the, that's the primary one. Once we've got the energy, that is. So we're only at 60%, so sending another builder scarab to go. Wasn't I gonna build a forward base? Oh yeah, I was building a forward base over here, but I guess I got Maybe that's where they are. Found them. Let's get that relic. Uh, don't we also need a relic as well? Yeah, need a captured relic. That's a variety of units. And you go capture this. He's taking a fair bit of damage. How about uh, mass resin? I feel like I need to recruit units faster. I don't really like raids that much. Plasma jet, man, they, they take a long time to build now, but that's okay. Let's keep building them. that and hopefully we get to keep it next time if there is a next time here oh also where is it even though it doesn't have much health just let's we'll see how it goes with this it's also quite possible that they've come with two bases Back 
a moment. I want to see what it's like with this avatar, even if it only has like 10 hit points. Okay, I've already done the spell. Oh, 300 health, okay. So he's not going to live for very long. That's okay, like, we've, we've got them. Can't build any more gorse turrets. Still build plasma generators, so let's build one more if we can. Clearly we don't need it for this match, but it'll help for the future ones. If they're even here. So yeah, if there's a time limit on that. Didn't do anything. Because none of them did. Just finish it. That, that should wipe them out. Yeah, but there's still another one. Alright, so cinema is here. So I think they're over this way. Go attack their base. I'm gonna build a monolith up here. Good spot for another base. Yeah. Ah, look at this, we can only use it once. Wait, unless, unless it's on a cooldown. Yeah, it's just on a cooldown. Okay, cool. here. So our guys will just get wrecked if I stay there. Alright, maybe build a forward base here instead. Well, not even a forward base, just a secondary base. What's with this? Oh, look, I can teleport somewhere. These are flayed ones. What's so good about them? Okay, this doesn't seem to be where their actual base is. Could be all the way up here. Alright, let's plop this down. And that should give us access to more ghost towers as well. Right, guys, go and hunt down their base, wherever the hell it is.
so there wasn't a whole lot here to f destroy. Maybe maybe the base is here. Okay, so this has been built. Good. Start capturing points. And yeah, we can build more ghost towers now. Let's check up here, because I just don't know where their where their damn base is. This isn't where their primary base is. I think that's a, a fortified, just a fortified position. Let's try and teleport the Nether Lord over here, just so I can find out. Look how long it takes to build these motherfuckers now. Oh, that's okay, we got nothing else to do. So, nothing here. It seems to me like this is where their base is going to be, right here. Maybe these flayed ones are actually pretty good. Go on. Let's bring them back. Increases in power as more of the monolith systems are restored. Alright, well, let's restore this one completely and see how that goes. I just hope next time we fight, come here, it still, still exists. Take long to restore it. Because yeah, you can move this around now. But it can no longer be used to um to recruit. Moves really slowly. I can't build another one. So no additions add like tons of damage, but we probably don't need to do that. Let's just go in there and wipe out the base now. some more vehicles.
reasonably well. Good, we got some war gear and they were preserved. Because we lose this other one. Cool, so we got the Death Road on Reddit. Ready? Uh, let's see. Increased damage and health. Crazy ranged attacks. Well, his ranged attacks aren't really his primary attacks, so we should increase what's what's important, which is his melee attack. So it gives him 200 extra health. Increases his range damage as well. That gives him a thousand extra health. Seems like this provides more than the actual um, the skinning blades, so we'll go with that. You still get another. Oh right, that, that was an intern. Okay, so. Let's do this one. I mean, we could finish them off, technically. But I don't think he's strong enough just yet. So if we have a look at... Oh, no, not Archive. How do I find out what I need to do to... To get more, um... Equipment? Well, I think one of the things I need to do is actually wipe out factions. So... I don't know. I could do it. I think it would just be very difficult. Because there's only... No, we'll go with uh, this because we'll get we'll get more um, we'll get more bonuses before we try and take out that faction. These guys here, wherever they decide to, mm, actually, you know what? Fuck it. I want I don't want these guys constantly attacking me. Let's let's try and wipe them out. I'll take one of them with me. Upon arriving on Cronus, General Lucas Alexander became governor militant, and set about reclaiming the planet for the Imperium. When his enemies launched attacks on his capital, he prepared to repel them with extreme prejudice. Experts in planetary defense, the men of the Imperial Guard, were heavily dug in and fortified in Victory Bay. Any attacker would face well-armed and well-supplied soldiers, backed by powerful armored columns and artillery positions. The Guard's only real weakness was its morale. Although most soldiers served honorably, the men of the regiment's 5th company had proven less than stalwart, and were placed under command of Regimental Commissar Anton Gebet in a forward base on the northern shore of the Victoria River. Without Gebet's whip, the company and its base would surely fold. Other companies took position in forward bases in more sensitive areas, ready to drive the enemy off Still, determined attackers could overrun those positions. Governor Alexander remained confident, however. Indeed, any opponent who made it past his forward positions would find themselves staring down the barrel of the massive Hellstorm cannon of an Imperator Titan. All right, let's do this. We're already at an hour and 25 into the episode, so probably won't finish it on this one, but we'll... Get some of the way in. Fifth Company, this is the moment of truth. You will not fear. You will not falter. You will not give a single step to the enemy. But, sir... If you will not serve in combat, then you will serve on the firing line. Enemies of the Imperium, hear me. You have come here to die. The Immortal Emperor is with us, and we are invincible. His soldiers will strike you down. His war machines will crush you under their treads. His mighty guns will bring the very sky crashing down upon you. You cannot win. The Emperor has given us his greatest weapon to wield. So make yourselves ready. We are the 1st Cronus Regiment, and today is our victory day. Right, so with this, it's not really a case of destroying their base. You need to just hold that. To the begin Necrons with. are here. Drive them back to their tombs, men. You need energy. It is your men who go to their tombs, Governor. So just 
try and hold out for the time being. Take this, we're going to try and speed up our training so that we can get these uh, these neck one warriors in here faster when we inevitably come under attack. And of course, we always need more energy. Maybe get a uh, Forbidden Archive down straight away to make the Necron Lord our most powerful unit even stronger. So I don't think they take up population count. You get over here, try to get these these chimera tanks. Looks like this wave here has been repelled. Yes, that's good. So as always, need more energy. No point having a good army if we can't really sustain it. With sufficient reinforcements. Uh, yep, upgrade the monolith. would be good but we need more energy first push back the front line men we won't let you down sir Gotta be patient then. Oh shit, what happened there? I must have accidentally. Oh, I pulled them all away. Fuck, how did that happen? Take it back from the men. 
sir, yes, sir. Okay, imagine enemy reinforcements will be coming soon. Yep, here they are. Don't have enough energy, but let's wait for that because that's going to drastically help our, our energy needs. Anyway, their attacks are pretty soft, so send a platoon to secure that location. Out. Executing your orders, sir. So these crypto mortals, I'll keep them at the base because they don't use up any of our supply limit. And we'll bring them in as reserve if things go badly. Or if we really need a hard push into a certain fortified position, which we probably won't. We can just take our time and do this slow. Hey, healing. So these guys here, let's move them forward. It's sort of like a suicide mission. Um, let's secure this whole section here first before we move on. Obviously two. So like three tiers. First tier, second tier, third tier. Fire control! Initiate strafing run! Take victory bay that easily. Oh, so here we go. So these guys here I'm building something here, but whatever, we'll be able to get rid of them. Okay, good, we got a heap load of energy just coming through. Upgrades will be useful. So what I really needed was another obelisk. Another um, monolith, sorry. pretty much handle that on its own at the moment. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll end the episode here, because this this will be a long mission. So, um, that's the end of this one, guys. So like and subscribe. Part 2 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.